Hello, friends. Welcome to the Motivation Broadcast here in beautiful Savannah, Georgia. This is the 10-minute motivational ticker. And, you know, in light of all the things that have transpired in so-called local religious businesses and these denominations and ministries over the past few months, I have to cover this again. And that is the title, Judgment. Judgment. You know, many of those that are lost in the traditional ways of worshiping that were imposed upon us by our oppressors, such as denominational concepts and religious business concepts and um, profit making religious institutions such as those. We don't understand what it means to judge when we speak in it in the scriptural form. OK, there is such thing as unrighteous judgment. But when Yahushua, the son of Yahuwah, speaks to us in reference of judging and others and judging people, he's talking about making a righteous judgment. Do you understand what I'm telling you today? A righteous judgment. In other words, he does not say not to judge. He says to make a righteous judgment. Or let's say we would change that term judge to come to a righteous conclusion on a matter. You know, we do this every day anyway in our normal lives. You know, you have to make decisions and you have to come to righteous conclusions based on whatever evidence or whatever uh, characteristics that are placed in front of you. Okay, so I want to go through that just to make it clear to those of you out there who believe falsely that the church has no place for judging, okay, instead of understanding that we make righteous judgment. For those of you, I want to go through this again, okay? So I'm going to begin to read at a particular scripture everybody goes to, which is Matthew chapter 7 and verse 1. It reads as follows, judge not that ye be not judged. Now see, most of these incorrect Bible teachers, I'll call them that, they stop right there. They don't continue to read this on down says, judge not, you know, that ye be not judged. Okay, well, let's read verse 2. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Okay, so he's not saying not to judge. What he's saying is that understand that if you judge, you're going to be held to the same standard in which you make your judgment. That's what he's saying here. If you judge, you're going to be held to the same standard in which you make the judgment. In other words, don't be hypocritical, okay? Let's go on to read verse three. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not the beam that is in thine own eye? He's saying, okay, why are you looking at your brother and trying to judge him when you're doing the same thing? You know, often I see this happen in the world, uh, I've seen people, man, maybe let's say one guy drinks beer and the other guy's getting drunk off hard liquor. OK, I see the one that's drinking beer. Uh, you know, he's trying to condemn the guy drinking liquor. Both, both of you are unrighteous. You know, both of them are unrighteous. One is not in the position to to make any righteous conclusion to the other. I, I see the same thing often when I would go uh, minister on the corner and minister in, in the uh in the streets and so forth. I would see one guy smoking weed, the other guy's on crack, and the, the guy that's on the weed, he's trying to condemn the fellow on the crack. Both of you are under the influence, you see? So this is what Yahushua is speaking of here. He's saying, listen, you know, both of you are guilty, and you're not in the position to make any righteous judgment. That's what, that's what that means right here. Now, let's read verse number four. It says, Oh, will thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye, and behold is the beam that is in thine own eye. Exactly the same thing I just said. Okay? Now, look at five. Very important here. Thou hypocrite. Now, this is what Yahushua calls it. Hypocrite. First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then thou shalt see clearly to cast out the moat of thy brother's eye. See, he wants us to come to righteous conclusions when it comes to our brethren. Let me say that again. The son, Yahushua, 
He wants us to come, us that are in the church, the called and chosen, to righteous conclusions when it comes to our brother and sister. Now, I'm going to show you that in another verse. Uh, there's many verses we can go to, but I'm going to show you that in another, in another text in a minute here. Okay, But this is what he's trying to say. Don't be a hypocrite. Because when you're a hypocrite, you mess it up for the whole rest of the body that's righteous. Why? Because you're out here, you're making hypocritical judgments, you're not in the position to come to conclusions on any matters, okay? You're guilty yourself, and you're just flabbing off at the gums, okay? So he's trying to consider that we should make righteous judgments here, all right? Now let's look at verse number six. Excuse me. Let's look at verse number five again. It says, thou hypocrite first cast the mote out of thine own eye. That means first, be righteous. Glory be to it. Be righteous. Be in right standing. Be in the position to make a righteous conclusion. First do that, he says. Then he says, after you do that, cast the beam out of thine own eye. Then you shall see clearly to cast the mote out of thy brother's eye. Now, because see, now you're clean, you're righteous, you're in right standing, and you do not practice anymore. Uh, for example, there is one uh, example where you can find someone who was strung out, let's say, on drugs, and, and then they went through the process. They've cleaned themselves up. They demonstrated a pattern, okay, of righteous behavior, and they've been born again, being called and chosen, and now they are a child of the Most High. Now, this individual is in the position to go out and make righteous judgments for those who are still lost. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not that he does not make any at all. You know, that he, he looks at unrighteousness and says, you know what? I don't see that. Let's leave it alone. No, not that. Now he has been regenerated. He's been born again. He's been called and chosen. He is a new creation. He no longer walks in the things of old. He's new now. Now he's able because he can see clearly. He can go and make righteous judgment. Say, hey, brother, you're down. You're fall because guess what? You are on drugs. I have been delivered and I'm living a clean life. Do you understand what I'm telling you today? See, judging, judging and condemnation are two different things. And the problem is most of those that are in religious business and most of those who are unlearned when it comes to judging, they take con condemnation and they get it confused. So when you point out their wrong sin, their, their unrighteousness, they start feeling condemned by their own guilt. And, and their first thing comes out their mouth is that you cannot judge me. And that's totally incorrect. Any called and chosen believer that is following the Father and following the Messiah and is a true follower in right standing and has a righteous walk is empowered to make any righteous judgment, okay, on those that are failing. Glory be to his name. And that's to include your friend Bishop Eddie Long, who failed by the wayside and basically admitted guilt by paying money to those who said, that he was not there, he was guilty. You know, he comes out and proves it by paying the money. And this is just how all this comes about. You know, I see different people's comments talking about we're not supposed to judge him and we can't do that. You know what? If you're not, you must be in the same boat he is. <laughs> Glory be to his name. Amen. Tell the truth today. You must be in the same boat if you can't see clearly to judge that. Okay, situation. Now I'm going to read a little bit from you for you from 1 Corinthians. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1. And here is Brother Paul, or Shaul, telling us not to go to the unrighteous, but to go to the righteous for judgment. He says, Dare any of you having a matter against another go to the law before the unjust, and not before the saints? Do ye not know that your saints shall, the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? You see, all through the scriptures, you can read verses like this, where the true followers are telling us that we are to be in right standing and to judge those unrighteous matters. Those of you fathers that are righteous and have daughters, I hope you'll be able to do this when one young man comes and wants to call on your daughters. I hope you'll be able to make a righteous judgment and see if that is the, the young man for them. If not, they may end up with anyone, okay? 
Well, until next week, I want you to be empowered, my friend. I'll be back with some more good news.